self-esteem, you really need to have a lot of self-compassion to have self-esteem. That means working on my self-esteem without the self-compassion part is going to be very, very difficult. Self-compassion allows, gives, allows you to arouse the momentum to deal and, get, and, and work on building yourself up. And this is where, the, you, know, you know, we're talking about crush buildings today and we're talking about all these things that have happened. But I remember Rav Nachman talking about a, a crushed uh, Rav Nachman and Rav Nachman walking down and they saw a building on completely destroyed. I believe it was Rav Nathan saw the building destroyed. And there, and there was a guy trying to pick up uh, pieces. And the, his followers told him, what are you doing? What are you doing in, that, in that, that the building completely torn down? What in the world are you doing? Haven't you seen it failed? And he says, no. Look at the guy. He's picking things up. This is exactly what we need to do when things are crushed in our lives. We need to pick ourselves up. And, you know, and this is, the, I think this is the message of the, of Reb Nachman, of the what's next mindset. You know, we have to pick ourselves up and we have to start picking up the pieces. Surfside has to start picking up the pieces. We can't just leave it. We can't let a, a building just be torn down. We have to build stronger. And I think this is the message of everything. You have to come back and you have to build stronger. Sure. 100%. It's funny because, uh, you know, we don't usually connect faith and self-confidence. We don't see these things as too... Uh, connected in Yanam, but you see by Rabbi Nachman and Rav Natan, the famous story, you probably know, um, that Rav Natan was learning from Rabbi Nachman how the less amuna that a person has, the more he suffers in whatever he does, the more onerous it is, the more difficult it feels. And we know in our personal lives that those days that we really feel Hashem in our life, everything is sweet and it doesn't feel as heavy, even though you might be doing a million things. But those times that you don't feel Hashem in your life, the littlest thing could trigger you and make a whole entire debacle. Yeah. So Rav Natan, when he was listening to this, he started to realize that everything in his life was very hard. And he got upset at Rabbi Nachman. He said, for the, which is very unique, he said, what, you don't think that I have faith? I left everything in my life so that I can learn from you. If anything, the one thing I have now is faith in Hashem. But everything in my life is hard. Rabbi Nachman says it's true. You do have faith in Hashem, but you don't believe in yourself. And you see from this that really there's a, a, a much deeper connection to self-confidence with faith than we normally imagine, that they're really one uh, entity. 